This is Old Town, Albuquerque, New Mexico. The area of Old Town refers to the historic original town site of Albuquerque, New Mexico when it was established in 1706. It's also referred to as Historic Old Town and Old Town Albuquerque Historic District. This Old Town Travel Guide provides helpful information for visitors to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Like this video and write a comment. We really do want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. Welcome to HipBig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is the Albuquerque, New Mexico Travel Guide series. This episode is the Old Town Travel Guide for visitors to Albuquerque. Did you know that El Camino Real is a National Historic Trail that ran through Old Town Plaza in Albuquerque? It connected Mexico City with New Mexico's Spanish capital, San Gabriel, and later Santa Fe until 1598, until the opening of the Santa Fe Trail in 1821. In modern day Albuquerque, there are plenty of brown signs in English on the highways and roads directing you to Old Town. Historic Old Town occupies an area of 0.8 square miles. It's surrounded by Rio Grande Boulevard, Mountain Road, 19th Street, and Central Avenue. Old Town Plaza is located at 200 North Plaza Street, Northwest Albuquerque in downtown Albuquerque. We drove to Old Town Plaza on a warm weekday evening. We heard it was better to go in the evening since lots of activities there are done when it's cooler. When we arrived, many of the stores were closed and not many people were around. Perhaps because it was a weekday and it was a really hot day earlier. I'm not really sure. Please check on their website, visit albuquerque.org slash abq365 slash events and visit when they have events here to get the full flavor of this historic area. Old Town Albuquerque today looks a lot like it did several centuries ago. It's lined with Pueblo Spanish style architecture and flat roof buildings and adobe walls. Surrounding the plaza there are long porches with uh, benches that line up in front of most of the buildings uh, to get away from the sun and heat of course. Old Town was established in 1706 with a group of Spanish families um, that settled in the area. The settlers organized their new town in the traditional Spanish colonial way with a central plaza anchored by a church. At the center of Old Town, surrounded by approximately 10 blocks of one and two story adobe buildings, is the plaza. On the north side of the plaza is the San Felipe de Neri Church, a main feature. It is the oldest building in the city of Albuquerque and built in 1793. The church is listed on the New Mexico State Register of Cultural Properties and the National Historic Register of Historic Places and has remained in continuous use for over 200 years. This historic old town in Albuquerque, New Mexico was established on April 23, 1706 when the Spanish governor of New Mexico declared it Villa de Albuquerque and established a plaza at the center of old town. The plaza is lined with trees and benches. Often there are performances and musicians here. Check on their events webpage for information. Most of the settlers established businesses and homes which surrounded the Old Town Plaza and the church. The arrival of the railroad in 1880 brought new architectural styles and you'll find numerous Victorian homes that uh, house shops, offices, and bed and breakfasts. Most of these have now been converted into the restaurants, art galleries, and shops of Old Town. There are more than a hundred stores and galleries in this historic old town that sell southwestern artwork including jewelry, sculpture, paintings, weaving, and pottery. 
East of Old Town Plaza, you'll find a plethora of museums like the Albuquerque Museum, New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science, and Explora Science Center and Children's Museum. If you get a chance, make sure to stop at the San Felipe de Neri Church. The present church in Old Town is a second church built in 1793 with the cruciform rather than rectangular formation. During the late 1850s, the church was remodeled with a guy, uh, Gothic revival elements, a new pitched roof with Gothic revival spires, and a new altar and pulpit painted to look like marble, along with wainscoting and wooden cabinetry giving it a more European look. Later in 1861, they added twin bell towers and the pressed tin ceiling was added in 1960. The combination of Pueblo, Spanish, and European architecture makes this church notable and worth visiting. There are also other buildings that are organized around the central courtyard in the church. There's the Our Lady of Angel School. This was Albuquerque's first public school built in 1878. This one-story gable roof building with a wooden cupola um, is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. There's also the Sister Blandina Convent, which is attached on the west side of the church and was built in 1881 for the Sisters of Charity. It's believed that this is the first two-story adobe building in town. The convent was staffed by sisters until the late 1970s. Combine this attraction with one of Old Town's many museums, like the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science, which stands out with the prominent dome of its planetarium. You can go also to the Albuquerque Museum of Art and History, which showcases the cultural heritage of New Mexico. This attraction will take you 30 minutes or more, depending on your interest. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.